What's up? It's your boy Waishitaku. Today we're gonna talk about one of the most influential manga artists in the manga history. The legend that created two of the most popular mainstream shonen manga in the 1990s era. The author of Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter. Yoshihiro Togashi. We're gonna dive into the roller coaster manga journey of Yoshihiro Togashi, an underdog story of a failed teacher to become one of the greatest manga genius to ever live. AKA one of the most controversial figures in the community. Some regard him as an absolute genius with unlimited imagination and endless creativity, while some regard him as one of the laziest and unprofessional manga artists in the modern day era. And the best way to talk about the manga artist is by their work, so we're gonna cover a lot of his work today. And without further otaku, let's begin today's episode of the underdog manga journey of Yoshihiro Togashi. Now, hit the intro fan. Yoshihiro was born on the 27th of April 1966 in Shinjo, Yamagata, a region known for its beautiful spring and gorgeous natural green mountain. He was in a family of five, including brothers and sister, and his family owned a paper shop, and he lived a really enjoyable childhood with his family. His love for manga can be seen at a really young age. He started drawing casually at the second year of elementary school, and he continued his love for drawing by attending fine art classes in the high school. He later joined the University of Yamagata to study education in hope to become a teacher. After years of studying and hard work in the uni, he finally graduated and became a professional teacher. Just when Yoshihiro thinks everything is going smooth and he will finally achieve his dream of educating the next generation, on his really first opportunity to deliver a lesson, with the entire class attention spotlight on his shoulder, young innocent eyes focus on him, Yoshihiro opened his mouth and Nothing come up. Silence, no sentence, no word, nothing but an emotional reach of anxiety, horror, and absolute desperation. At that exact moment, Yoshihiro knew his dream was gone. A dream he worked his entire life for was finished, disappeared with the silence in the lesson. Now what? This question circles Yoshihiro's mind and he figured out the only option he got left is to use his talent in art and become a manga artist. During his university day, Yoshihiro has made many manga to weekly shonen jump, and by 1986 he has published his first ever manga and one-shot manga, Sensei Toshishita, a comedy manga about a high school teacher leaving education due to pregnancy, and a new substitute teacher is a midget with similar height to Kevin Ha. And obviously the high school student does not respect that, but he's only here for one lesson, so he thinks it's calm. But somehow all the other teachers have left the school due to various reasons, and the small teacher becomes a substitute teacher for all of the classes. And finally the main protagonist can't handle that anymore and swing a baseball bat at the substitute teacher, hitting a home run, creating a really funny story. As we can see from Yoshihiro's first ever work, he's very talented in creating wit, uncommon and unique plot, and that manga granted him the hopes of the war. It also shows him how work do pay off. He continued and released his next short manga, Jula no Midoki, a fantasy story, and many directors in the Shonen Jump magazine saw a lot of improvement on character design, and unsurprisingly he was selected for the Hopstep Award again. With all the momentum in the war, Yoshihiro have landed his next target on the famous Tezuka Award, and the best way he knew how to do so is to combine his love for baseball and comedy to create a comedy baseball manga, Butabai Strike. Yoshihiro have improved a lot, especially in panel and action posts, making the character's action scenes more fluent. And that ultimately granted Yoshihiro the famous Tetsuka Award, and Tetsuka himself commented, This guy's manga is really mainstream and has talent on comedy manga. Yoshihiro later released many of a one shot, including Tonda Birthday Present and Oklo Tante Dan. As judging by the artwork, we can definitely tell he gained a lot of inspiration from his early work prior to create one of his most popular manga. <laughs> 
Fun fact, the editor of Yoshihiro is Toshimasa Takahashi, aka the seventh chief editor of Jonin Jump. Interestingly, he's also the editor for B***, aka the god of editors. I guess he just have a special talent in finding great manga artists that is coincidentally really good at keeping their work in hiatus. Yoshihiro begins his debut series in Shonen Magazine with Tendei Shiwalu QB, which lasts from 1989 to 1990, a four volume story about romance Ichi mystery, but sadly that was not his strong genre and he got cut. After his early struggle and setback with Tendei Shiwaru QB, he's seeking inspiration for his next work and coincidentally the biggest hit at the time was Dragon Ball Z and Yoshihiro saw the rise of mainstream action trend he decided to jump on the bandwagon and with the help of his early work, Yoshihiro have created one of his biggest hit, the core of Shonen Jump during the 1990s era, one of the most influential action manga in the history, Yu Yu Hakusho. The world is not full of sunshine and rainbow and definitely not the case in UK. Bloody. Yoshihiro had his fair share of mainstream manga struggle and we can clearly tell that Yoshihiro is not used to join action posts combined with a limit character perspective and there's no way he can compete with other good mainstream action manga especially when Shonen Jump have Dragon Ball Z at the time. So here we have a problem, Yoshihiro's artwork are too mediocre for action manga which limit the enjoyment of Yu Yu Hakusho and guess how Yoshihiro compensate for his lack of work? Hmm, maybe get a more assistant or actually take the longer route and slowly improve your art skill. Nah, bro. If you haven't figured out already, Yoshihiro ain't no normal manga artist, he ain't got time for that sh**. So instead of facing his weakness, he doubled that on his strength, which is unexpectation and surprise. We can clearly see that in full effect when Yusuke beat Rando with a look, and that caught the reader completely out of guard and the sense of surprise adds an extra element of entertainment to the reader. As a result, unexpectation have increased the popularity of Yu Yu Hakusho and start making some noises in Shonen Jump magazine. But good time didn't last too long. Mediocre artwork will always be mediocre artwork and it is still the weakest link in his work. There's a limit to how much unexpectation he can add and too much unexpectation will slowly become the norm as the readers slowly become desensitized to that. So Yoshihiro faces his biggest struggle and weaknesses once again. He has to find a way to fix this long term problem. And he fixed it. With no other valid long term option available, he slowly improved his artwork over a long period of time and we can clearly see a lot of improvement with character perspective and action pose which result in a fluent and smooth action scene especially during the dark tournament art. Now there's no more obvious weakness in Yu Yu Hakusho's anymore and his artwork is actually good. Therefore along with Dragon Ball, Slam Dog and Yu Yu Hakusho form the big three that supports one of the best period of Shonen Jump in the early 1990s. Yoshihiro himself was selected for the Shokan Manga Award in 1993 for his awesome work. But like I said before, good time never lasts forever. And after the Three Kings art, Yu Yu Hakusho finished in 1994 with 19 volumes. And one of the key factors in Yoshihiro finishing Yu Yu Hakusho is due to the consistent horrible lower back pain he faced during the 5 year period. And Yoshihiro have 100% left his mark in the manga community. <laughs> After one year of much needed break for Yoshihiro to recover from the horrible back pain, he has released his next manga series, Level E in 1995. What's so unique about this manga series is the fact that this is a monthly chapter release in a weekly Shonen Jump magazine. That basically means the Shonen Jump editor have given Yoshihiro the platinum VIP treatment. It's like when you can hand in a homework a whole month after somebody else handing there without getting roasted by the teacher. Level E has 16 chapters with 8 different stories. This manga talks about the comedy event of a prince doing dumb sh**. For example, killing the f***ing alien and trying to run away from it. Interestingly, Yoshihiro met the love of his life, Naoko Takeuchi, aka Solomon's author in a party hosted by Kazushi Hagiwara, aka author in August 1997, just like Bakuma. And by 1997, Yoshihiro had finished his last work with a level E, and he's ready to move on to the next chapter of his manga career to create one of the best mainstream action manga of all time. 
two years after finishing Yu Yu Hakusho, another cult manga of Shonen Jump, Slam Dunk, finishes in 1996, which resulted in a really weak and a lacking identity Shonen Jump magazine. And it was just before the best Shonen manga in my generation, One Piece, is rise in 1997. So Jump is in a desperate situation where they need a new identity. And one year after 1997, they found their next core shonen manga with the new release of Yoshihiro's work. In 1998, he begins his most popular, famous, yet controversial manga. On one side, some readers absolutely love the brand new fantasy world Yoshihiro have created. But on the other side, some people absolutely hated the stupid long hiatus period he had manifest. He begins the story of Hunter x Hunter, a story about Gon finding his legendary hunter dad. We can see that Yoshihiro have made a few adjustments for Hunter x Hunter. He has simplified a lot of background with simple plain white background. He decided to focus more on panel, character design and story development instead, aiming to create a really entertaining manga. And for sure, looking back, he definitely did that. Yoshihiro have introduced many great concepts explaining the different ability of the character and that ability skill system is by far the most balanced system I have saw in shonen manga where all the special ability can be explained using 6 names Enhancement, Transmutation, Conjulation, Specialization, Manipulation, Emission within the 4 main principle 10, Zetsu Len and Hatsu, displaying his crazy and unlimited imagination. Yoshihiro have slowly reduced his artwork on Hunter x Hunter as the series progresses and the most prominent case arrived from the Camilla and R, where he starts drawing less and less background and panel and it deteriorates slowly to a drop level. But with that being said, many people still enjoyed the heck out of the unexpected ending of the Kamena and Ak. And once again, he's shown us there's nothing that Yoshihiro can't imagine. And we are done! We have briefly went through the journey of Yoshihiro Togashi, how he went from a dreamless life failure to one of the best shonen manga artists we'll ever witness. We saw a huge improvement from his very first work of Sensei Ha Toshishita to Hunter x Hunter and his popularity for sure grew over time and we can definitely credit that to the stupid amount of hard work and dedication he put in his work. Although everyone laughed and did a piss out of his consistent hiatus period, especially when they compare to One Piece, where One Piece have 91 volumes in 13 years, averaging 7 volumes per year, whereas Hunter x Hunter have only 36 volumes in around 12 years, averaging 3 volumes per year. But Oda is on another level and that's why he's the GOAT of shonen manga to me in the modern day era, but that's another topic for another day. We shouldn't disrespect Yoshihiro's work just because he's not releasing at the same rate as Oda, because we don't know the incredible amount of hard work he put behind Weekly Shonen Jump, and the amount of pressure we put on his shoulder to create entertaining manga. The man is 52 years old now, he has a family of one daughter and one son, he has earned more than enough money to retire any day of the week. He has done more than enough for the manga community and the history. He's not doing it for money or fame anymore. He's solely doing it for his legacy and his fun. And we definitely don't give a f if he's not talented. A talentless manga artist when on hiatus will only be a manga artist without a job. Love it or hate it, Yoshihiro is undoubtedly one of the most popular manga artists and a legendary shonen manga genius with unlimited imagination. I watched that could for sure respect the of this man. That was long. Comment below on which manga author I should do next. I want to make this into a series where I can showcase their journey. This video is inspired by the two videos I saw in YouTube, so go check them out if you have time. Like, comment and subscribe because that's gonna help me out a lot as a content creator and help us grow together in this journey to become the best anime YouTuber we could be. And have a nice day. I'm out. Peace! Breathe down me, fine. I love you.